Uclan is a university based in Lancashire. Its main campus is in the centre of Preston. Laura Prendergast is student liaison officer for several schools on the Preston campus. We talk to her about her experiences in Preston and on campus. My name is Laura Prendergast. Um, I currently work for the University as Student Liaison Officer and um, looking after three schools, uh, journalism and digital communications, art design and performance um, and computing engineering and physical sciences. My best experiences have been a student probably in my first year. Living in halls was one of the best things I ever did. Um, I think some of, the, some of the friends that I've kept from that first year and throughout the three years of my degree, I never probably would have, have met or have been friends with if I met them in different circumstances. Paul Moore used to be our student night out on Thursday at 15 degrees. Um, so we had some interesting uh, alcoholic experiences at 53. I always remember that it used to be called um, Boy Footsie. Uh, it's the stock exchange night that uh, they run in sorts. Um, so I used to go to that a fair bit, watching the prices drop of different shots and pints and legging it to the bar to get the cheapest drink. When it's not raining, <laughs> which is obviously most of the time, um, yeah, I think it's easy getting around campus because it's quite close together compared to other universities. Like, to say we're not a specifically a campus-based uni, we're a city-based uni. Everything's still relatively close together apart from walking from Leeds House to Vernon. But yeah, on busy days, like when SLCs are happening, like the course shop meetings, because I have three schools, it's hard to sort of coordinate the time between the three evenly, especially when there's either overlapping meetings and there's like one in Greenbank, then one in Victoria, and one in Media Factory, and then back to Greenbank. I often joke that um, they should buy me a bike or a pair of roller skates or something to make it a little bit easier, but I don't think that would ever happen. <laughs> Facilities, like media factory facilities, was one of the reasons why I came here in the first place. Um, it was the day I came on my open day, it was the day after the media factory had opened, and it was bizarre compared to what it is now, because at the time, there was no kit anywhere, so like the TV studio was just a big room with another little room behind it, and there was boxes and polystyrene everywhere, and the lighting rig hadn't been put up or anything like that. As a student, I think I probably lived half of my life in the media factory, and the other half in the, in the library. Um, I always remember at the end of my first year thinking, God, I don't think I've ever been in my library. Or like, maybe I've had one book out and that was about it. And always thinking like, because I'd always spent time either in the media factory in halls and done my work that way. So I'd never really made use of it until like, second year TV, I think was probably the first time I actually went and got loads of books out and did loads of research and just suddenly thought, right now I feel like a proper student, I'm using the library. I always say applicant days and open days that the, the support services are one of the biggest things and being part of one of those support services I see how hard the staff work and how sort of sometimes understaffed they are but they still always go above and beyond what they probably should be to try and help people and looking at other institutions like when I've been looking for jobs over the past few months or um, when I had a look around at other universities before I came here, that the passion in a lot of the staff, not just the teaching staff, but the support staff, seems to be a lot different here than it is in other places. Like, people actually care, and you can tell they're not just doing it to pick a paycheck up. Like, they genuinely go home and worry about the students and like try and be the best team. So I think that, and even though that is what I say at Open Days, I genuinely believe that. Like, make, and that's my, my one pearl of wisdom that I'd give to any student is use and abuse the staff and support services because they are brilliant and they do really want to help.
We have decided to use voice introduction as the explanation of the theme of our video. As the assignment is about city of the Preston, we as a group felt that uh, the university is a large part of Preston with a great percentage of the population being made up of students. With this bearing in mind, we decided to focus our video on the university and the university life itself. At first, we introduced the interviewing person with the wall poster close up, that everybody understands who it is. I think that such introduction will explain the sense of the following activity better. Then Laura speaks about her job at the university and we show shot how she is entering the university building and uh, it harmonizes very well together. After that, we made up our minds to use overview shots to show surroundings and buildings, having in mind the situation which is going, going, going on at this moment. We have used three-point lighting and uh, have succeeded enough to underline interview from the background. Also, we used cutaways with slow zoom out. Uh, all this shows the basic idea rather good that we wanted to show it in the shot as well as the surroundings of the object. We wanted to create calm, comfor comfortable at atmosphere using background music, so we decided to use some cool modern beats that Michael produced by himself. To vary our video, we asked Laura and her friends uh, with who she is working together as if she is making photo at this moment is being shown just from the mobile camera. To finish our video, we decided with Laura, Laura is going away from the shot as if ending our story. To my opinion, we have done rather well despite numerous problems that we had during our work. Cool.